Hey guys, and how's it going? Welcome back. Today's episode is just me walking around Merida showing you what's in front of me. Now, you're gonna see, hear music in some portions and a lot of portions you're just gonna hear me talking and rambling about all kinds of random shit. And um, I don't know how this episode is gonna turn out, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Regardless, stay tuned and you'll find out yourself and then you guys can let me know in the comments and in the thumbs ups and all that shit what you guys thought about today's episode. So, all right, without further ado, I'll see you walking around Merida. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm just walking around and I'm gonna be showing you, from my point of view, some of Merida. Now, I just left an appointment right now from with a, with a client and um, I have my camera with me and I really have nothing to talk about. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna, just gonna just film from my point of view. All right, now I'm on my way to OXO all right, hold on. I got something in my shoe. Anyways, I'm on my way to OXO right now because I gotta, you know, make a quick uh, deposit uh, for another client of mine. We're just uh, doing some work and shit. And um, so I'm gonna do that and um, I'm gonna just show you my walk from point A to point B because I'm not going straight home. And I'll just show you, you know, all kinds of things. So, you know, you'll see like a house like this, you see? like a building like that and then you see like a really really good property right next to it you feel me it's just Merida you know it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing so yeah I'm gonna see what I can talk about uh, I'm trying to think of what I can talk about well I'm on my way to OXO right now because I gotta like you know literally I just gotta pay a bill that's what I gotta make the deposit um, it's just like um, some service that I'm uh, gonna pay for. But anyways, my lawyer, it's just my lawyer, all right? That's all I'm paying for. But anyways, the point is, is that, uh, yeah, just, um, just walking and talking. You know, hanging out, we got nothing to talk about. You're probably gonna be listening to music right now. I mean, you know, I don't know. I have really nothing on my mind right now because, like, I'm just, like, kind of processing, uh, you know, the work I got to do for my client. Um, I actually, I literally had two meetings with two different clients. I have a lot of work. I'm kind of backed up. Um, backed up in a good way. No homo, all right? But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, like, a little backed up right now in the sense that, like, uh, I have a lot of work to do. I'm looking forward to it, though. I mean, I'm not... You know, um, whatever, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I just decided to like do a little walking and talking and show you guys around, yeah, because I got like um, I got two, I got two projects that I already got hired for, and then I got a third project in which um, it's still like iffy. I got a meeting next week, but anyway, so one project is like taking some video and photography. Of, uh, of a hotel you know so I gotta just do like um, you know just a quick little video for their website take some pictures for their website you know put it all together for them so I got hired for that and then the next job it's something that is uh, you know with somebody that I'm gonna see I gotta get me one of these cars as soon as I'm able to get a license that's definitely the car I'm gonna get but anyways like so I was saying I got a, from, for the other client, it's someone that is getting ready for like a, a Merida cultural event. So in January, there's like this big uh, cultural event that's happening in Merida. And um, it's like a Merida Fest or some shit like that. And so she, uh, you know, she just, you know, I, I don't want to talk too much about the project just yet, but you know, she has like a book that she wrote and she lives out here. She's like kind of like an expat in that whole thing. No, no, Elena, no, no, they're cool. Gracias, gracias. Look, look how look how nice they were. That they were they were willing to let me pass, and you know they were gonna stop traffic and all that shit. 
And I told him, no, 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 don't worry about it. You do your thing. <laughs> so, so anyway, so it's just kind of like an artist uh, profile type thing. Well, it's not really an artist profile. So like, I'm just, I'm, I'm just hired to help her with consulting, you know, like consulting her on how to, you know, um, do everything that she wants to do with her project. I mean, she was going to hire me outright, but I, I, I just told her, listen, you know what I mean? Kind of Gary V style, like, listen, you know, let me save you a lot of time and money and let me show you how to do it right. And, um, you know, I can do all that, you know, and then you can just take it from there and that whole thing. So, you know, that's kind of like what I do. I'm, I'm like that kind of a businessman sometimes, you know, that's why I work extra hard because a lot of times, you know, like I tell her and I tell other people, you know, the fact is that sometimes what I do is that um, I, I shoot myself in the foot because, you know, there was like a lot of easy money right in front of me, but I, I would rather do the right thing than take money. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know that she can not only get a better result if um, I show her how to do it and she does it herself and I just charge her um, for showing her how to do everything as opposed to charging her more for me doing what she wanted me to do because she was scared that she couldn't do it herself and in turn you know she comes out with a shittier product you know because at the end of the day it's not gonna ever come out exactly how she wants it now you know there's a lot of um, reasons why you might want to hire somebody and outsource certain work and all that kind of shit you know I, I get that I do it too you know but a lot of times when people do that outsourcing or any kind of anything like that what ends up happening is just that you know people do that outsourcing or um, get you know give that work to somebody else or some other entity only because they just don't think that they can do it and I think a lot of us you know we suffer from that and you know it happens you know to me you know just coming from the the restaurant industry is coming from that world of the you know whole restaurant industry oh shit look they closed this place down i think they're doing some renovations or something yeah first time i've seen this place closed it's always open anyways so yeah so like i was saying so we're just going down paseo montejo till i get to the oxo okay um again i'm giving you this point of view because i'm always giving you this point of view so i was like fuck it let's switch it up a little bit right so what was i saying so yeah so like uh so that's what i do you know what i mean like i'm you know that's why i'm loved by a lot of my clients and i'm heavily coveted you know for those that know what i do because i mean i don't know i'm, I'm remember i'm like the whole consultant thing thing too you know where i want to help you be the best you that you can be i'm not here to just take your money or anything like that that's not what i do at all you know what i mean i just you know i've learned from a lot of experience that you know not only is best to a lot of times do things yourself just learn how to do them and then do them and then on top of that you know just uh you know to do right man you know there's no reason to not um not show people the proper way how to do things and not really do what you're supposed to be doing all right and i'm going off and around you know what the hell i'm talking about but but yeah like uh by the way so when i'm making these videos a little inside information you know, a lot of times I'm just on my rant, you know, talking, doing my thing. And, you know, sometimes I forget what I've said a little while before that. And, uh, and sometimes it just makes it, you know, that much more interesting or difficult in order to, you know, continue talking and, 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 and forming thoughts. Because a lot of times, you know, what I'm doing is that I'm just talking off the top of my head, like as if I was having a conversation with somebody else. But the reality is, is that, is that like, I'm not having a conversation with somebody else. I'm having a conversation with myself. And uh, it gets a little tricky sometimes. You know what I'm saying? A little tricky, tricky. Yeah, again, see, like, there's something wrong with this um, SIM card. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it, but it keeps messing up. I was just recording, and I saw that it wasn't recording. Hey, I think it's a SIM card. And again, I think it's a heat and the humidity, too. That could be it. Um... This is that you kind of just get used to it after a while. But anyways, back to, you know, what we were looking at here. So, yeah, this is like some sort of government building here. And this guy just sells stuff in front of the government building. And that all good stuff. But, yeah, I don't know what the hell I was saying. Oh, yeah, just the fact that, you know, it's not that easy being cheesy. Or it's not... Let me see if I can keep this straight. Yeah, but that's another thing, too. It's not that easy keeping this thing straight. I have like very rudimentary um, tools here, which I got to upgrade. I just haven't been able to upgrade yet. 
All right, so now we're approaching the, the chocolate museum. They might bombard me, hopefully not, but they usually... All right, all right, we made it, we made it. But uh, yeah, so this is the chocolate museum. You guys already know, you guys have seen me coming through here all the time. Is it still recording? All right, it's still recording. And uh, yeah, you know, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, yeah, sometimes where it's like, uh, it's not as easy as... Uh, as you might think you know to make these videos because again it's like i, I don't know I, I see i forgot what i said you know see that that's another thing too when uh when there's failures with the equipment it makes it so hard to um record anything you know and right now i'm thinking to myself not only do i not know what the fuck i recorded but i think that what i recorded is shit i mean right now even as i'm talking and doing my thing you know i feel like uh you know everything Everything that I've been recording is, uh, you know, useless. It's not going to be worth anything. It's not, I'm not even going to, you know, have a video out of this. But a lot of times when I make these uh, videos, especially like this one today, this video that I'm making today, to me, is like a shit show. This is like a really, really, really terrible fucking, uh, you know, episode here. And yet sometimes I make these really, really terrible episodes and you guys, you know, let me know that is one of your favorite episodes so that's why i just never give up you know some that's why i also upload every day and things like that because a lot of times you just never know which of the videos that are going to do good you know which is the you know again the same thing with like you know no matter what you're doing if you're painting you're you're singing you're any anything that's why you got to do so many things so many times and fail a lot of times because it's just a thing you never know you just never know what you guys, I, I don't know what the fuck you guys are gonna like. I made a few videos last week that I never thought that you guys were gonna even like. One of my videos, you know, talking about like, why well, you should leave the US. That shit's fucking been blown up. The other one about dating in Mexico. Well, actually, I knew that one was gonna blow up a little bit and things like that, but <clears throat> you know, there's this guy looking, you know, for, for the delivery, poor bastard. See, same shit happens out here, you know, that's the thing. My favorite ice cream place of all time right here. This is where I met my my sweetie pie, where I met Christian, right here. This is the best place ever, right here. I love it here. This is the best fucking ice cream ever, right here. So, oh, music, huh? Yeah. A lot of loud music coming from up here. like a lot of loud music being played there but yeah anyways yeah that's the way i don't know what the fuck they sell there i'm um, back home in miami we had this place called uh um santa's enchanted forest and it was a ginormous store like that opened 20 you know 365 days a year and all they would sell was like you know christmas stuff and santa claus stuff and all kinds of stuff like that so i think that that's what that store is because that's all they've ever sold there just all kinds of things like that and they get busier during the holidays you know so you know whatever it is what it is so yeah we're you know i'm on our way now approaching uh oxo so i can uh, pay my bill and i can head back home and get back to work i got a lot of things i gotta do it's only tuesday i got so many things i gotta do for the rest of the week but oh yeah hold on forgot i was gonna show you this you see, I can't, I can't help myself, man. I love the camera so much, I can't help myself but put the camera on my fucking face. Like a, like a narcissistic uh, prick. I'm not that narcissistic, huh? What do you guys think, huh? Do you guys think I need too much attention? Anyways, so yeah, today's episode is just a mishmash of all kinds of fucking things I'm talking about here with music and all kinds of other crap, so we're just gonna go with that. Anyways, there's the OXO, all right? So we're almost here, and uh, yeah, let's. Oh, I, I can feel some rain. Look at that. See, it's always a challenge out here. Every day could be Monday motivation, right? So, all right, let me cross this street here, and uh, all right, let me get in there, pay some bills, and uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, on so we can walk on the way back. We can walk together. All right, guys. So just finished making my payment here at the OXO um, and again 
you, know, you guys are probably wondering exactly you know what I was paying or what I was taking care of and again it's just um, just like I get paid to do a lot of freelance work and uh, and I get outsourced you know meaning I'm you know people that hire me to do outsourced work um, I do the same thing and um, you know right here in Merida I literally you know had to take care of something you know some some job and uh, I needed to outsource it and so you know I'm paying my lawyer you know to take care of that for me and um, you know here I can just go to the OXO and make a deposit and it goes into his bank account where in the US you know we can't do things like that anymore because you know anti-money laundering laws and all that shit so it just you know makes people makes everything just more difficult but you know again one of the awesome things about Mexico is that the fact that I don't have to worry about that shit but anyways enough about me enough about me let's uh let me just show you how it is to cross I gotta cross the street here you see just crossing the street you know crazy style but anyways you know I'll show you some more of Merida um, so yeah, you already know this episode's a shit show. Just me talking about all kinds of random things and doing all kinds of stuff. I'm trying to beat up the rain right now as I make it home. Um, I actually now as I was uh, paying, uh, you know, I, I got a phone call right now. You know, like literally, I got like another thing I got to do. This is, this has been turning out to be a really busy week for me, which is again I'm not complaining, but I just you know now I'm like running home. I'm trying to walk as fast as I can because I got shit I got to do. Um, over there, you know, I got like a another meeting I gotta, you know, take care of. Uh, this one at least as a remote meeting, so I can just take care of that from the comfort of my home. And um, yeah, you know, that's a, that's a beauty about living out here, you know, and like just being out somewhere where you're pretty much free. You know, today I got me two clients. I already working with um, a two more clients, you know, someone I had a meeting with last night another one that i've worked with many times before you guys probably already know her you know we're you know working together on some stuff well we're gonna meet up again soon to work together on some new stuff and um yeah it just keeps getting awesomer and awesomer every day as i do this you know what i mean like it just keeps getting better i apologize for any kind of uh music out here because it's uh, always so loud i hate i hate restaurants that play music i really do but anyways so this is sometimes where I meet with people out here, you know, when I have some some meetings. I like to meet at that coffee place right here. So this is really close to my house. And it's cool. Alright, okay. I see the weather's changing quickly. So I gotta hurry this up. Let me just show you some more of my uh, neighborhood. Someone that just sells random stuff, you know? So when you see like people like that 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 sell stuff, you know, like her, you know, that um, you see them all over the place, you know, all over Merida. Um, you probably, if you see, you see them in my videos or you probably see them if you're out here. You know, those people come from uh, the Pueblos outside of here and then they come in and they sell their stuff. So they go, they're out in the Pueblo um, making their stuff and then they come out here to sell it to the tourists and to the people. But they're basically mainly concentrated around the area, which is the area where I live and it's centro and stuff because you know that's uh if you're coming from if you're coming from uh from a pueblo to sell your stuff you want to sell it in the center of town right in the the commercial area you know the the most obvious place and then uh, at the same time all the tourists are there so it's like kind of like a double double whammy and then you see them sometimes that they venture out to like right here around Paseo Montejo and all that other stuff because again there's a lot of tourists and all that shit out here. Most of them kind of like already know me just by looking at me. Look at this guy going like a million miles per hour. Oh, he's turning here. Cool. All right. So, yeah. So, it's just my point of view walking home here. You know. By the way, if there's any stalkers out there, if any one of you guys ever gonna come out here and stalk me or do any kind of stalking, please bring something with you. You know, bring beer, bring alcohol, you know, bring some weed, bring something. You know, don't just uh, show up empty-handed. Well, please, all right? That's, that's the least you guys can do, all right? Don't just show up to my house all. Because otherwise, otherwise Lambo's gonna fucking bite you if you show up empty-handed, all right? It's not me, it's Lambo. 
so just in case there's any stalkers out there all right i know you guys are out there so yeah guys you know again today's episode is not really much i don't have much on my mind you know um I, I mean i have a million things on my mind but not really much things i could talk about so that's why i decided to just i don't know talk about whatever the fuck was on my mind which is a bunch of random bullshit um as i film and then uh, when i get home I'll, I'll see if what i talk was coherent if it's coherent i'll leave it if it's not coherent then i'll put some music and it'll just be walking around maybe that little bit and that whole stuff look at hey so let's see that's like a little wine store right here you guys should check it out sometime I gotta come here sometime. I just feel like it's probably expensive, you know? That's the only reason I don't come here. But this is, you know, French, you know? Like, real French stuff. I follow them on Instagram. I don't know if they know who I am, but whatever. I gotta come visit them one time. Every time I visit any place out here, I'm always very pleasantly surprised. So yeah, you know, we're almost home. Take it, take your time, guys. So yeah, I think I should start wrapping it up, right? So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun, as always. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Um, don't forget to stay awesome. Yeah, I'm trying not to see this guy's trying to cross the road too, so I don't want to get in his way. See, because I used to drive before. All right, see, I'm telling you today, been randomness to the bone. But anyway, so like I was saying, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And then I apologize if today's video was shitty. Um, again, it's a good thing I upload every day, right? You can just watch tomorrow's episode or yesterday's episode again. Or if you really like today's episode, then eh, it's a good thing I made it, right? All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching, as always, and uh, I'll see you guys manana. Peace.